Hello from Joshua Tree National Park. This video is by request from several of our YouTube subscribers. It's a three-day solar test to demonstrate the solar capabilities of the factory installed GoPower solar panels on the GeoPro. I've included the raw data at the end of the video and just to warn everyone that's not into this, this is a pretty boring video. It's getting a little hot in here, so I turned on the max air vent. It's been running for about two hours and we're still at 100% solar, but it's nice and cool in here. The sun is just setting here in Joshua Tree National Park as we go into night one of our solar testing. Let's go inside and take a look at our solar status. And we are still at 100%. Not bad. So this is pretty exciting. It's been two and a half hours since the sun went down. We are still at 100%. That's with the heater going. And a lot of times the heater draws a lot of uh, solar power, but I'll show you here, we're still at 100%. About ready to settle in for the night, watch a movie, pop some popcorn, have the heat going. It's pretty comfortable in here. And all on solar, we're still at 100%. So we'll run this uh, test for a few days and see how we do. Got down to 85% during the movie with the heat on. Heat turned off and it's recovered to 90%. So we'll leave the heat on overnight and check it in the morning. Middle of day two, 90% solar. That's after we've ran the hot water heater for a couple showers, did our cooking, lights, heat, and we have a partially overcast day. So this is the sky on day two. You can see it's mostly overcast and we're not getting 100% solar, but we have uh, our battery percentage is 90% right now with the overcast skies. This is the morning of day three. We've got a full Sunday. Expecting solar to be, again, excellent. All right, this is kind of a really boring video. Uh, I was trying to do a solar test, and this is day three, and it's really sunny out here in the high desert and I cannot get the solar to go below 90%. So the solar works excellent. So the solar will drop down to mid 70s at night with the heater going, maybe 72% uh, in the morning with the heater going and the hot water heater on and the max air vent on. However, as soon as the sun peaks up, it bumps right back up to 90%. So there you have it solar test three days solar tests and i was attempting to show a solar drawdown but with the high desert sun there really isn't anything that uh, we can do to make the solar less than 90 percent it's excellent if you're going dispersed camping or boondocking or off the grid you can pretty much rely on your solar to power your entire unit pretty much indefinitely in the high desert and the bright sun no problem at all. There's pretty much no way you're going to be able to run out of solar energy. But when we were up in Big Sur in the Pacific Northwest, a lot of times our solar would get down into the 30s, drop it down even into the 20s. So if you get into the situation where your batteries just are not recovering above 50%, it's important to go plug them in for a day and just help that uh, battery recharge to 100%. Your whole system is just going to work better. So. Well, uh, we haven't ran into any problems out here. We've not been able to do anything to get the solar below 90% out in the high desert. But just from experience over the last seven months, if you park in the shade for three days, you're going to have issues with solar. And not surprising, solar needs sun.